When countries trade with each other, it's only natural that they have trade disputes with each other. However, the World Trade Organization provides a system, a multi、uh, multilaterally agreed set of rules to settle these disputes and reduce trade tensions. In the history of WTO,、um, in the past twenty years, we have heard over five hundred disputes. And、uh, in comparison,、um, the International Court of Justice, for example,、uh, has heard only sixty. Um, disputes、uh, in its 70 years of history. So, in a way, it shows how、um, productive, how prolific the WTO's dispute settlement system、um, is. And about half of these disputes has resulted in amicable、uh, resolutions between parties before they were being judged.、Um, and about 200 of them、um, involved external adjudicators to judge these cases. Uh, most of the rulings, in fact, 90% of、um, the rulings, have been complied with. Developing country members have brought about same amount of disputes compared with developed country members. So、um, I think developing country members in general participated actively in dispute resolution system.、Um, there are a couple of key characteristics of WTO's dispute settlement system、um, that I would like to draw your attention to. First of all. The WTO's dispute settlement system is really a mix of diplomatic way of resolving trade disputes, mediations,、um, and、uh, a formal judicial process.、Um, since the Uruguay round of trade negotiations, members have decided to adopt positive consensus in dispute resolution. That means that a panel report or an appellate body report are automatically adopted unless. All of the WTO's 164 members decide to oppose to it,、um, and let me just briefly、um, talk about the process of WTO's disputes. There are three stages. The first stage is for parties,、um, both both the complainant and the respondent, to sit together and try to find a solution. That is called the consultation stage. Usually, that lasts for 60 days. At the end of that period,、um, one Party can decide to、um, start a formal panel process, and during that panel process, there will be three external experts. They cannot be nationals of either parties involved in the dispute, and these three experts will act as、um, impartial judges to decide a case, to decide who is right and who is wrong in a dispute. At the end of that process, the panels will issue a report, and then if、um, Either party can decide to appeal if they feel that the the judgment are not correct, and、uh, at the end of that,、um, the case will be、um, dealt with in the appellate body process.、Um, the appellate body is composed of seven judges representing、um, different nationalities in the WTO.、Um, once a case. Is being judged by the appellate body, and the once a report is being adopted, it goes to the implementation stage. And implementation includes the possibility for countries to impose countermeasures in the event、um, a losing party fails to comply with the rulings.、Um, in a way, the WTO provides the system、um, to incentivize countries to comply with the rulings. And indeed, we have a very good track record of countries complying with.、Um, Um, what has been judged. The second aspect of WTO dispute settlement, I would like to emphasize, is that it is an interstate process. Only a member of the WTO, which is normally、um, a, a sovereign state, can bring a case against another member of the WTO based on alleged violations of WTO rules that one member imposes.、Um, and、uh, so sometimes it means that.、Um, If a private sector or an individual want to、um, bring a case, they have to first convince their、um, their governments to bring a case through the formal process.、Um, and the third aspect of WTO's dispute settlement is that it is a rule-based system. A case have to be、um, brought to the system when there is an explicit violation of the WTO rules, or sometimes、um, non-violation of the rules, but there is.、Um, A clear、um, trade loss occurred、um, because of certain measure being applied. So, and WTO's rule book mostly comes from the Uruguay round of trade negotiations, which was concluded in 1995, about 20 years ago.、Um, throughout、um, 
different rounds of negotiations. WTO members have also agreed on new rules, um, particularly trade facilitation agreement, which is also subject to WTO dispute settlement system. And generally, WTO rules cover trading goods, trading services, and trading ideas, or trading intellectual property uh, in, more, uh, in the WTO terms. Um, and they also cover plurilateral trade agreements, such as government procurement agreement, uh, information technology agreement, so on and so forth. The last point I wanted to emphasize is that developing countries have participated in the system and members um, recognize that they have their special situations and they have to be given special and differential treatment in the process. That means that developing country members or least developed country members um, will have uh, special assistance when they want to bring the case. Um, for example, that can be additional uh, time periods for them to file their complaint or respond to uh, questions. Um, and it can also be legal assistance. Um, and to respond to the special needs of developing countries, um, an advisory center, WTO Law, was created in 2001. It acts like um, an independent law firm, but uh, the rates they apply for developing country members are um, discounted. So the advisory center's role is indeed to provide developing countries and least developed countries uh, with legal advice um, with the capacity to enable them to take full advantage of the dispute settlement system. Um, at the moment, WTO members are also seeking to reform and improve the process of managing trade disputes to hopefully um, make uh, the system more friendly to developing countries and more efficient as well. And this negotiation is outside of WTO's um, single undertaking in its broader negotiations. So once the um, process is completed, the decisions will be um, will be applicable um, right after the negotiations.